A red one can be programmed to control logic objects in the same manner as a select eight, or audio objects in the same manner as a volume eight. When we place the red one in the design, we're given an opportunity to select how many logic outputs the red one will have. In this case, I want to control a four input source selector, so I'll need four logic outputs. When I place the red one, we actually have five logic outputs. The output on the far left is labeled DF. That's the device found logic output. When this red one appears on the network, that DF output will go high. That allows us to create logic in the software that checks for the presence of that red one. In this case, we don't need that port. I'll turn on the logic ports on the source selector and then wire outputs one through four on the red one to the source selector. All that's left to do now is double click and create the control items in the red one programming. My four sources are CD, DVD, TV, and AUX. So my first control item will be CD. The first control item will trigger logic index number one. That means when CD is selected, the first logic output of the red one will go high. My second control item will be DVD, which triggers logic index number two. Third is TV, which triggers logic input number three. And finally, AUX, which triggers logic index number four. Once that's finished, the red one is fully programmed. I can now use this red one to control my source selector. If I also wanted to trigger presets with the same red one, I would need a remote preset button with two presets assigned to it, and I would need to create two more logic outputs on the red one. Once I have those logic outputs, I can wire them directly to the remote preset button, and then program my remote preset button to trigger my two presets. The final thing I need to do is create two more control items. The first one is normal, which is logic index number five. The second one is conference, which is logic index number six. My red one is now programmed to select the backer music source and also be able to trigger remote presets. The volume eight and select date each have up to eight control items that can be assigned to them. The red one can have up to 32. If I want to control volume controls, EQ gain, or almost any other continuous control, I can create control items in the red one for those objects. For instance, on the mixer, I might want to control my microphone volumes. If I go back into the red one, I can create a new control item for mic one. I need to know the object code for my mixer. If I click on it, the property sheet says mixer one. If I select object code mixer one, select control ID level in one, that's my input number one level, I've now programmed control ID seven to control the mic volume for number one. New control item, mic two, it's still mixer one, but this time I wanna control level in two. I can repeat that process for all six microphones. I could control the output of the mixer, I could control the actual input channel gain, parametric EQ gain, booster cut. I can even control the gains on the input and the output of the crossovers. In this example, I created the source select controls first, then the presets, then the microphone controls. I can move those items up and down by selecting them and hitting the move up or move down buttons and rearrange things any way I want. I can also change the name of an object by clicking on it 
and hitting the rename button. All of these controls can be mixed and matched in any order that's convenient for me or required for my system.